Hallo und willkommen, ich bin Meister Lenzer und you're watching Get Germanized What Weapons You Can Legally Carry and Use for Self-Defense in Germany. I am bored, what should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get So I actually got this question from one of you guys. What are some weapons that I can legally carry in Germany for self-defense as a citizen and as a tourist? Well, uh, that is not very difficult to answer because in Germany, weapons laws are very strict. Um, basically, if you were thinking that you can just openly carry like a, a gun or <laughs> I, mean, not, I mean an assault rifle, obviously not. But those kind of things, they just don't fly like you can't can't do it mostly. The legal weapons that you can actually carry with you and use for self-defense and only for self-defense, you can't attack first. Uh, there's the law again very strict for those kind of things. If you attack first, it might even be that you are the one being, uh, well, in the end, charged. And uh, if you use it for self-defense, a different story. But the use of force has to be appropriate. For example, if someone comes at you with his bare fists, right, and you shoot him, <laughs> Like, that wouldn't be appropriate, would it? Um, but, I mean, it's really difficult to judge that. I think the, the law in Germany is a bit like, like, what is appropriate, really? Like, sometimes if you use a certain weapon, the assailant might not stay down and might attack you again, so it might not have been enough. And, like, it's really hard to judge, I think, even after those situations in court. But anyway, to use any of the weapons that we're going to talk about in this video, you need at least a small weapons license, ein kleiner Waffenschein. Without it, you're only allowed to use these in your own apartment, in your own building or, well, on your private grounds. But if you do have a small weapons license, then you're allowed to carry those outside of your own home and also, well, defend yourself and others with it in self-defense situations only though. More about the small and the regular weapons license later in this video. One of the legal weapons is uh, CS gas or tear gas, but of course that weapon is kind of difficult to handle. You can, I mean, you could injure yourself with that, not really injure, but you know what I mean, like you could harm yourself with it or, uh, well, I think even 20% of people are immune to tear gas, so it doesn't really do anything to them. So that is kind of like a meh weapon. Another alternative to the tear gas would be the pepper spray. Usually, like law says, it's only allowed to be used against animals. So you can carry it with you and if a dog attacks you or something like that, then you can spray him with that. But if you use it against people, I am pretty sure that's actually not legal only again if there's a valid case of self-defense if you have to self-defend and then use it against a person I think that's a different story another thing you can use is the pepper pistol it's basically a pistol that just shoots little pepper uh, bullets I suppose that explode and then have the same effect as like tear gas or pepper spray you're also allowed to carry around a little telescope stick that like whoosh, you can uh, elongate basically how do you say that <laughs> that gets longer when you whoosh, do this and then it's like made out of metal and you can use it uh, for self-defense again i think not legally against people only in the case of self-defense but even then like i said it has to be an appropriate force that you use against him you can't beat him half to death just because you think he wanted to attack you. German law is very difficult when it comes to that. Some call it stupid, I know, but that's just how it is. Uh, appropriate force, um, keep that in mind. Also, if you take these with you, remember that it's mostly uh, used in Germany to scare off people and not to actually harm them with it. Like, for example, if they see a huge metal uh, bat or something that you carry around, around with you, then that might just be enough, you know, they might not uh, try anything, but of course, never can be sure. But in Germany, again, very strict, don't do anything that might get you sued in the end. Another weapon to consider is, of course, the taser. Keep in mind that with all these weapons, they need to have the proper uh, approval symbols on them, like, uh, like an emblem on them, basically. PTB or an F, depending on what kind of well, weapon you're getting. And if you don't have those symbols on the weapon, then it's not legal uh, to use at all. So make sure that your weapon uh, was approved before you consider that. And again, 
uh, they suggest from what I read up on the internet that you just use that to demonstrate that you have it, you know, to, to like scare the assailant off instead of really using it for reasons that are obvious. Like if someone has a pacemaker and dies and again, the appropriate amount of force that you use to kill them because he scared you, for example, or something like that, or was about to attack you. That's just like, you, you see where I'm getting, right? Another question I got was about paintball and paintball weapons. So what about paintball? Is that covered under the gun law? Do you have paintball parks? It is covered under the gun law because I guess they look very similar sometimes to real weapons depending on what kind of gun you have or at least it's vague enough especially in darker situations that people or the police wouldn't know if you have a real gun or not so it might be dangerous. So you're not allowed to carry that around openly. Uh, you will have to put it in your uh, trunk, in your, what do you call that, uh, your boot in, the, in British English, or even in a closed bag, you know. And uh, you have to put it in there and then drive to the paintball grounds, which we do have in Germany, and then unpackage it there, but don't just have it openly in your car. And it is not allowed to be like ready to shoot, it needs to be, I think, even empty. Uh, different uh, like bullets in a separate container and all of that stuff just very secure basically And of course you can't carry around any of these if you are not 18 yet keep that in mind as well Then you can purchase any paintball weapon that has I think a jewel limit of 7.5 and also it needs to have one of those F symbols on it that I was talking about before so basically what the law says is that you cannot carry around a paintball gun with a well, with no weapons license at all, and not even with a small weapons license, because we have a small one for uh, like some types of weapons and a big one. And you will have to have like a regular gun license for carrying a paintball rifle outside of the paintball grounds here in Germany. I'm no weapons expert, but I uh, hope this was helpful to you. If it was, leave a like and share the video. That is very important. Sharing it is key. Please do that. Thank you very much. And subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, well, consider supporting me on patreon.com slash getgermanist because my patrons, my supporters on there basically sponsor all my videos, make it possible that I do keep bringing you uh, these videos on a regular basis, three times a week, every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday at uh, actually 7 to 8 p.m. CET. Sometimes a little bit later if I forget, but <laughs> mostly around those times. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, like I said, and apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.